Today's video is about merging data in Pandas and then evaluating how that merge occurred by displaying what I would consider the missing output. I originally wrote an article on this topic which was designed for users of other statistical programs that were used to having more input or output rather when they perform a merge. In these other statistical programs the output is designed to help you evaluate how well the merge occurred. The output is intentionally more verbose in order to promote replicability. So to get started, let's go ahead and spin up a Python command prompt where we will enter a dictionary that will store a primary data set. In addition to the primary data set, we will also enter another data set which will be our secondary data set. The goal will be to merge the primary data set and the secondary data set. As you will see as I put this data on the screen, the two data sets are not perfectly aligned. There is a UID, which is a unique ID for the two data sets. The primary data set has unique IDs that don't exist in the secondary data set, and vice versa. Something we will do now that we might not have done already is to import pandas as PD. I will put the primary data set in a data frame called P underscore DF, and then I will also put the secondary data set in a data frame called S underscore DF. As we inspect these data sets, notice that the primary data set has unique IDs 1 through 10, and the secondary data set has unique IDs 1 through 12, but we're missing 5 and 6. Watch what happens when we perform a simple out of the box merge on these data. Of the original data sets, we had 12 overall observations. Each data set has 10 observations. Somehow we've lost 4 observations for a resulting data set that only has 8. This resulting data set with only 8 observations might have been the desired result, but often it is not. Let's perform another merge, but this time let's add an additional argument, the how argument, and we're going to say how equals outer. This time we get a data frame with all 12 of our original observations. Let's perform this merge one more time, but we're going to use an additional argument. We'll use the indicator argument, and we're going to set that to equal true. The indicator argument gives us an additional variable, underscore merge. This variable is extremely useful. The first useful thing we can do with this variable is to perform a simple value counts method. This will tell us how many observations were in each of our original data sets. This will also tell us how many observations are now in the merged data set. The underscore merge variable helps us inspect the results of our merge in other ways. For example, I will use the pd.crosstab function in order to inspect these results. I will use pd.crosstab with any number of a variety of categoricals that might be available in my dataset along with the underscore merge variable. This will help me understand what happened in the merge operation. Here on the screen I am showing the cross tabulation of underscore merge with unique ID. This visual displays exactly which unique IDs were in the left only, the right only, or both. Don't forget, you're more ready than you think you are. Hit subscribe, check out these other videos, and let's connect. I look forward to being in touch.